Hello folks, Double Tap here and welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing a review of the Rokat Kulo Stereo 3.5mm gaming headset. So first I'm going to show you a bit around the box. I have been using this for a few days now because when I do a review I do like to test the products out before I actually review it and I think that's a bit better. So let's have a little look around the box. Rokat Kulo Stereo 3.5 Stereo Gaming Headset So here, Premium Stereo Sound for Games and Music Gutsy Bass, Clear Drivers, 40mm Drivers Earpads and Microphone Noise Filtering Plus 2 Advanced Velvet Donut Earpads inside Inline Slim Remote Control for Easy Volume Adjustment Automatic Mute Function by Folding Up the Microphone Metal Reinforced Headband with an extra soft cushion and premium stereo sound, noise cancellation, slim remote control, neodymium speakers. Okay, so on the back it's just basically showing you what I just said. Lightweight and flexible, there's your jacks, external noise cancellation, neodymium drivers, soft head cushion, metal reinforced, noise filtering, microphone. So and you've got a bit of the same on the side as well but it goes into more detail what they actually are by this numbered thing here which just basically shows you what I was just saying so let's get straight onto the headset and have a look at it so this is the overall design of it and it does look really nice I think obviously starting at the top this is your metal reinforced headband and it's quite flexible and strong it'll obviously extend on the sides you've got your little extender strips right here so it'll click if you can hear it yep I think you should be able to you've got some nice soft cushioning inside here which does fit your head really well like I said I've been using it for a few days and it is a very comfortable headset it's very well made this part, your ear cups, has got a little bit of flexibility, not loads, they won't bend all the way around like some other headsets do, but the flexibility there is quite good. Your cable here obviously fits into the headset there and that is good solid construction, that ain't going nowhere that isn't. Here's your inline microphone, automatically muting of course like uh, it stated earlier. When it's down, obviously, it's on. Push it all the way up, and that's what mutes it. It doesn't have a mute button. That's the only thing that will mute it, unless you unplug the headset, of course. Right then. Nice little Rokat Cooler logo on the side. The ear cups are this, like, um, I don't know, it's like a fake leather type of thing, and... It does do a good job of noise cancellation because unlike the larger headsets which encase your ear, these obviously sit on top of your ear and it does create a seal on your ear to cancel out background noise and that so it is quite good for that. The mesh insert obviously lets the noise out better. These are interchangeable, you just turn them and they'll come straight off. I mean, that's what the actual, that's what the speaker looks like inside. There's the little cushion thing. Let's get that back on. Right then. The cable that it comes with is it's about eight foot long. It's just over two meters in length. You got your little inline remote there for the volume and it's just a little slider goes up and down it's quite good the jacks for it let me get these what's this Kulo product number okay and as you can see here it's got your little green and pink dot and also the little band around the top so that's pretty easy to understand you can get an adapter which is a 7.1 adapter for this headset and that will give it stereo sound and like this 
it'll have the drivers built into it and that also turns it into a USB I haven't got that with this one but the la latest versions that I've noticed for sale does have them so something to look out for I mean this wasn't that expensive because it's the 5.1 version um, I've seen these for sale for between 40 and I think it was 70 something pounds I didn't pay that for these I got these for 21 pound which was a great saving so what I'm going to do is I'm going to plug these in and let you hear exactly what that microphone sounds like so I'll be back in a second folks before I go I wanted to show you this it also come with a second set of ear pads like it said on the box I did forget to show them you just it's just the ear pad replacement guide it's very easy to do like I showed you they basically twist off and twist back on but let me quickly show you what these are like they're exactly the same as the leather type except it's like um, a black velvet type of thing I have used them and they are very comfortable but they seem to be um, if you like a more tighter fitting on your ear because these are probably twice as thick as the leather tight ones but they're really nice and it's a nice little feature to have a, an extra set of the little ear pad things so I just wanted to show you them before I did the microphone test so I'm going to do that now back in a sec right then we are back this is the microphone test for the Rocket Kulo Stereo 3.5mm gaming headset and I just wanted to show you what the actual microphone sounds like I've got it all the way down so it shouldn't be cancelling out the microphone I'm not going to push it up because <laughs> it's pretty pointless because for all you know I could have just stopped talking <laughs> I have used these in different games and as I was saying earlier I do like to test the things out before I do a review on them but from what I can see in the games it is quite good I've had to mess about with the settings a little bit but you have to do that with most microphones and headsets anyway so that's no big deal just going through the rocket website so you can have a look for yourself I mean the website's out there if you wanted to have a look at more of the specification details all the tech specs that sort of thing but this is probably i think it's the fourth or fifth headset i've purchased in about in the in about a month and i haven't been happy with any of them so i did a bit of research on the rocket ones and they looked really good from what I've seen on the different review sites as well as on YouTube and that's why I decided to give them a little go and so far uh, I've been quite pleased with them. Um, the only thing I didn't really like about them is uh, the 7.1 sound card with the USB adapter you've got to buy that separate. Um, you can get the newer versions now with it that comes with it in the box and unfortunately I purchased these ones before I seen them so I uh, might get it separately I'm not too sure yet I honestly don't think I will because as long as your graphics card has got the little adapters for the little jacks you're good to go you don't really need the USB but the only other thing that I wasn't happy with was the plastic type uh, cord for it I prefer the material type ones I do but that's just a personal preference it doesn't by any way you know affect the headset so overall I'm quite happy with this headset give it a go see what you think anyway folks I think I'm going to leave it there for the Rocat Kulo Stereo 3.5 mil gaming headset review so if you enjoyed the video then click the like button and subscribe for more videos. Leave your comments as I read them all. I'm Double Tap and bye for now.